Something I've, I've not yet done on camera is pull out my uh, bottom board screen and uh, looking at this, these are, that's a bee. We do have some ants. There are no droppings and there are no beetles. Those are bee parts from unfortunately dead bees. There's pollen and a lot of wax, but no, uh, no beetles or anything, mites or anything showing up. So that's good. All right, another uh, tip someone suggested before was to take off the top box first, move that and then look at the bottom box and then do the top box second. So I'm gonna try that today. All right, this was a nearly empty frame last week. This is a super heavy honey frame. Whoa. Wicked heavy. And this was the other. The other empty frame. Yeah, the comb is basically empty. That's all empty comb. There's brood in there, but it's very lightweight. Still working on comb. Okay. All right, quick look up top. Let's see if I see a queen. See how the comb's doing up here. They got this thing jammed. Drone cell. This is the frame the queen was on last week. A lot of brood. Deep, deep honey cells. Big, fat honey frame. See that wasp? All right, this was a nearly empty frame last week and that's all they've made. This was completely empty last week. And that's their progress. All right, one more pull out here and see if the queen is on this one. There she is. 
Look at the blue dot. Right there. All right, she's doing great. All right, that's all I'm gonna do. Putting the medium on, see what they do with it. All right, there's definitely ants on the sugar. They're just, they're just the little picnic ants. They're not big, red, black, horrible ants, but I'm gonna put some diatomaceous earth around the hive. Whoa. All right, so that's it. Uh, queen's in there. I noticed that uh, they haven't been building a ton of comb on the current frames that are in there. Uh, but I'm gonna give, I gave them the medium super anyway, and I just want to give them room to expand. We do have a uh, significant fall uh, flowering situation that's about to s start in a few weeks. Uh, we have goldenrod, and there's a few other things that, that are going to start coming up. So the bees are going to have some more flowers, and uh, I am still feeding them the syrup. Uh, hopefully that will help them make comb, because they need the syrup to make the comb. And that's about it. I, I, I'm a little bummed about not having flow frames in here this year, but like I said, I want the hive to be healthy. I want the hive to make it through the winter. And with the medium box, there's a much better chance of that happening. And there's also better odds that I might get a little taste of honey this year. So I am going to have another video where I'm going to address the flow frames and the flow hive situation and what I think about it and what I think it should be used for. Uh, this is coming from a beekeeper who's been a beekeeper for less than three months. But uh, I kind of have a better idea of what it's all about and... I'm going to share my thoughts on that coming up. So thanks for watching, and things are pretty good here. I hope things are good where you are, and you have a good day.